so we're gonna paint this <laughs> this is not an exciting thing to tell you about but i'm gonna tell you about it anyway three two one ta-da how is it having a birthday in lockdown good morning so today is actually wednesday i think and i thought i'd vlog today because i've actually got some stuff happening well i say that stuff happening within lockdown still not gonna be the most exciting vlog ever but it's gonna be a really nice day today it's supposed to be 28 degrees in essex so buzzing about that nearly 30 degrees that's like holiday temperatures i'm definitely gonna have an ice cream in the garden at some point sorry if you can hear my fan i've got this on down here because obviously it's really hot this fan actually <laughs> this is not an exciting thing to tell you about but i'm gonna tell you about it anyway the fan that i have is literally a lifesaver so it's from this brand called honeywell i've got some tape over it because i actually have it on at night and as you can see it has lights and these are actually surprisingly bright when it's pitch black so i just put some masking tape over it to like dim them down a bit but it's got all these settings on the top like how heavy you want the fan on whether you want it to rotate it's currently on the rotating you can also set a timer which i absolutely love because i tend to set this for like half an hour when i go to bed and it helps me get to sleep so quickly i don't like want to leave it on all night you know because it's going to use a lot of electricity and i feel like that's not going to be good for it so half an hour while i'm getting to sleep if i wake up in the night it also comes with a little remote so next to my bed just put the fan on again for half an hour honestly living my best life this summer so i'd highly recommend this fan actually <laughs> love it i'll link it in the description down below um anyway i'm currently dressed in my painting attire because i'm about to go and paint our garden fence i did this last sunday I think it was last Sunday on Father's Day. I spent the day painting one of our garden fences and today I'm gonna to do the other one. So I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do. It's gonna look so much better. It's gonna be a satisfying time lapse. You're welcome, providing all the goods on this channel. Let me know in the comments down below, what's the best thing you've done this week? I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy painting this fence. <laughs> How sad, but look, we've got our garden summer edition. Got all the sofa out for today cause it's gonna be so nice and warm. So I'm definitely gonna sit out here later and have a little ice cream probably in my egg chair i literally love this i spend quite a lot of time editing in this chair in the summer hence the blanket over it because it helps keep my laptop shaded and then i can actually see the screen but lovely day right i'm going to show you the fence so this is the fence that i painted the other day you can't really see but it's like a dark brown and this time oh gosh i'm really zoomed in so we have this willow tree in our garden and the fence behind that is the one that I'm about to paint. Please excuse the ladders, we've been having a clear out of the garden over the last week. Um, but this one, it's very green, so we're going to paint this dark brown and hopefully it'll look a lot better. My mum's actually started already, so this is the colour that we're going to be painting it. That's going to look so much better. Even like the green plants look so much nicer in front of that fence rather than that fence. So this is going to be incredibly satisfying. But here is the before. Let's do a little garden transformation. Sorry to interrupt the time lapse, but I've just run out of paint, so we're going to have a quick coffee break and maybe a couple of biscuits, and then I'm going to get back to it. I've done this panel and I've done half of this panel. I've just got this one and half of this to go, and my mum is doing the two over there. We're getting there. I think we are going to need two coats, though. We thought we were only going to need one, but it's looking a bit patchy, it's looking a bit like my fake tan at the end of the week. Oh, hello, new vlogging angle. This is actually quite a cute background. Got Pamela behind me here. Actually, let me know in the comments down below if you were around when I very first got Pamela the plant. She's been going for a long time now, honestly. I reckon she's at least like probably four years old. I'm so surprised that she's alive. She's had quite a few leaves cut off her, bless her. This one's going a bit yellow now. That just happens all the time and then a new one comes out and she's fine. I don't know what type of plant she is. All I know is that she's from Ikea. Love you, Pam. Anyway, just wanted to check in because I'm a whole lot less sweaty now. I've got an actual outfit on. This bodysuit is from Shein. My shorts, hang on, you can't see them. They're from In The Style and my scrunchie. Do you know what? These are the best invention ever. <laughs> invention. A scrunchie, like it's a new thing. What I meant to say was they're the best investment. I got them on Amazon and they came in this bag and there are so many colours. I literally have one for every outfit. Look at those bad boys. This is my scrunchie collection now. Like this one didn't come with them. 
she's in there this one didn't but she's in there there's even neon ones i'll leave a link to this pack in the description down below because honestly it's such good value for money there are so many cute scrunchies in here i've obviously got the blue one in today to match this bodysuit but i'm loving wearing a matching scrunchie there's even dark purple how random it was super affordable so yeah i'll link it in the description down below so i feel like a lot of you guys will enjoy that also i found this earlier this little bottle i'm pretty sure i got this in a poundland video smells so nice i didn't even show you the final fence ta-da how much better does that look honestly the green is popping now goes all the way behind the hut all the way to the shed very chuffed with that what a good morning's work very clean very suave do you know what right little rant the kids that i live near put me off having kids listen to this Okay, they just got told off, so you can't really hear them that much. But, oh, there we go. Dog's going now as well. I hope they don't watch these videos, but if they do, please keep your children inside. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't mind kids making a noise when they're, like, laughing and playing and stuff. But these kids are always screaming and crying. Honestly, it's unreal. Anyway. Oh, Warwick Davis is on the telly as well. Does anyone else right? This is a bit of a neggy vibe. Does anyone else have those celebrities that they just find annoying? For me, it's Jess Glynn, Davina McCall and Warwick Davis. Anytime they come on the telly, I'm like, please. Anyway, neggy vibes over. Today is actually my best friend's birthday. It's Leanne's birthday. A lot of you guys will know Leanne. She is back from New York. She got back probably about three weeks ago now, actually. She was supposed to come back way before that, like months before that. But obviously corona happened and it was really bad in new york i think it was one of the worst places in the world oh my god the children control yourselves what have you got to be screaming about i should be the one screaming anyway like i was saying yeah she's back home now she's all good she's all safe she had to wear a mask for eight hours on the plane and before the plane journey and obviously before she got home as well so she had a long time wearing a face mask she's an absolute trooper but she's back she's safe she's all good she's been back long enough now to know that there's nothing wrong with her like she hasn't caught corona which is great and yeah, it's her birthday today and me and Leanne have this tradition where we get each other a massive birthday card, usually we do anyway, and we write literally an essay in it and it's usually funny and it's got inside jokes and literally these cards take us so long to write. Oh, my phone's ringing. Sorry about that little interlude. But this year, I couldn't go to the card factory or any card shop to get a massive card. I had to make do with what was in Asda. To be fair, I did actually find a cute one. This is her birthday card to a special friend on your birthday. Um, but I'm about to write it now because I'm gonna take them around to her house, obviously at a social distance. I'm just gonna chuck her presents at her. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Okay, I've written her card and the other side, I've drawn us through time. So we met when we were four and we're still best friends now. Age four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to age 22. Don't know about you, but I'd stick that in a frame. Ta-da! I think that looks really cute. I can't remember where this wrapping paper was from. I think it might have been Primark. Primark actually have incredible wrapping paper. Um, so yeah, it's all wrapped up. Looks all pretty. Here's her card. This is an inside joke. Weirdo from Possum. If you know what film this is from, it's a very niche quote. But if you know, comment down below and I will be very impressed. So it's a little bit later and I just sat down to do my nails and Leanne has texted me to say she's back from her birthday picnic. Her and her family went out for a little picnic today. Very cute, but they're now back. So I'm about to go and take her present and her card round. Leanne lives so close to me. I can literally walk to her house in about, well, I was going to say two minutes, but I walk quite slow, so... Five, literally just walked out my front door, shut the door without a key and realised I forgot my sunglasses. How annoying. My mum was in the garden as well, so I had to go around the back. Got the present, got the card. Let's try again. Adios family. Here she is, the birthday girl. Hello. Are you feeling 22? I am, I am. So you don't feel any more like Taylor Swift than you did yesterday? Um, no, I do feel really like Taylor Swift today actually. Oh good. <laughs> Leanne's just opened all her presents. Very cute, she appreciated the wrapping. Yes. How is it having a birthday in lockdown? To be fair, I feel like I've done more this year than I did last year because when you're in lockdown you feel like you have to find something yeah, to do. Yeah, like you've got to make the most of it. So like, yeah, I'll, I'll find something to do. Whereas last yeah. year like, oh, it's another birthday. That's so true. You've been for a little picnic, haven't you, today? Yeah. Very cute with the fam. And now we're obviously social distanced. I'm zoomed in to Leanne <laughs> right now <laughs> to make her a bit closer. Oh, okay. I know. So annoying, but 
Oh well, at least you've had a good birthday. Yeah. And you've got your exam or something this evening, haven't you? Final performance. Final performance today on your birthday. Never mind, at least it, you'll remember it, won't you? Yeah. You always remember on your 22nd you did an exam. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, well happy lockdown birthday. Thanks. Hopefully it won't be the same next year. <laughs> Lol, no, oh god, imagine. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> My choice of footwear to walk round to Leanne's was appalling and I now have a blister on my toe. But I've been back for a little while and I'm currently editing while watching Glow Up on BBC. It's the makeup series with Stacey Dooley. I'm absolutely loving it. I've actually just got up to date with it. So if you're watching that, let me know. And who do you think is going to win? I'm pretty sure Ophelia is going to win, but I would like Eve to, to be honest. But I'm loving this series. I didn't watch the first series, so I need to go back and watch that because I've enjoyed this so much. I'm not even that into makeup, but it's honestly so fascinating. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Anyway, I'm about to spend the next hour or so making a thumbnail. My thumbnails take me so long to make and I don't know why because I swear it's so quick for everyone else, but it just takes me forever. I am so slow. So that's the next job on today's agenda. You right, Pam? How you doing, hun? You're getting a bit more yellow. I swear that's happened throughout the day. If anyone's a plant expert, please let me know how do I stop my plant doing this and why does it do it? Because I water it really often, but every now and again, one of the leaves will just go really limp and then I feel sad for her. It's okay, Pam. It's like the plant equivalent of a broken toe. Don't mind me, just having a little spritz, spritz, spritz of my Poundland Victoria Secret Spray. Oh, it's so nice, but I'm not gonna lie. I've just sprayed that, I won't be able to smell it in a minute. <laughs> Literally 60 seconds and it'll be gone. Um, but anyway, finished my nails. Here they are. Are. they're not that great but I like the colour it's nice when I fake tan and I'm gonna be fake tanning probably tomorrow night I know I'll get questions about it so the nail polish that I use is actually a gel polish it's from blue sky and it is in the shade peach passion I'll link it in the description down below I've started linking everything that I mentioned in my vlogs down below because I get so many questions about it that I just thought you know what I'm just gonna link everything from now on so if you ever wonder like oh I wonder where that's from if I've mentioned it I've probably linked it so Always be sure to check the description before you comment saying, where was that? <laughs> you may have noticed that I've got changed. I'm actually in this little gym set now. Super cute. I'm doing some work on Instagram at the minute with a new gym wear brand called Nothing To Prove. I absolutely love them. One, they are lovely people. Two, they're a smaller gym wear brand and I love supporting smaller businesses. Three, the quality of their gym wear is top notch and it's in the cutest colors ever this vlog isn't sponsored by the way just thought i'd let you know so i'm about to go and do the fourth and final post i think actually for them i'm gonna go and shoot it now because it's a really nice evening and i'm about to go for a walk the sun is setting though so i need to hurry up because i thought i'd get a cute picture at sunset in case you're wondering this is the lilac aftermath luxe set it's so comfortable and i love this neckline i thought it's quite unusual Ooh. anyway i'm gonna go and take some pictures down by the river actually quickly before i go they sent me this really lovely sweatshirt just as a little gift as a like thanks for working with us how sweet is that it is such lovely quality i'm actually taking quite a few things from this for candid because i love the shape of this sweatshirt and everything like that so i love that it's got a bit of a balloon sleeve it feels really nice and soft as well i love this slightly darker elasticated neckline i just love it so thanks guys for sending me that i honestly really appreciate it it's such a nice thing to do and you can buy these on their website so i'm gonna link nothing to prove in the description down below and if you like what you see don't put a ring on it but go and check them out <laughs> oopsie daisy i hurt you again lost your heart in the palm of my hands who is that by i have no idea anyway guys oh i'm on a bit of a wonk here we go oopsie daisy i forgot to vlog anything while out taking that picture obviously my mum is my photographer during lockdown and when it's not locked down. <laughs> and we actually bumped into my auntie and uncle down at the river, which was really lovely. Obviously not physically bumped into each other, social distance and all that. But yeah, we stood and had a little chat with them for like half an hour. And it was really lovely because we haven't seen them obviously for months. Anyway, I'm about to take off my makeup and I'm gonna do a little facey mask. I'm gonna do this one, which I've already accidentally opened. Don't ask me how I accidentally opened a face mask, I know. But it's from a brand called Cubella. It's the Illuminating Holographic Peel Off Mask. I got this in a glossy box when do i ever not use something from glossy box <laughs> i've actually got something coming up on my instagram as well of how you can get your hands on a free glossy box so follow me over on instagram and keep your eyes peeled over the next week or so i think because very very soon you can get yourself a free glossy box and i'm excited about it but anyway i'm rambling i need to take off my makeup i've just run myself a bath as well righty then i'm gonna have my face mask on in three two one 
god that looks terrifying anyway guys i think that is where i'm gonna wrap up this vlog because i'm just gonna go and hop in the bath now chill out for the evening that's the end of my day happy wednesday to all but anyway my loves thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please do give it a big thumbs up because that really helps me out and i want you to let me know in the comments down below what's the best thing that's happened to you this week I always want to know the answer to that question. I love the positive vibes you give me. Do subscribe to see my future videos. I promise you, I have some very exciting ones coming up that you're not going to want to miss. So stick around, hit the notification bell if you want extra brownie points from me. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye, guys. Love ya.